Hold on. Let's uh, let me get this uh, new piece I have. Hell yeah! What is that? I won my fantasy league. That's so, what you win. This, oh I mean, God, you good. you get eight hundred bucks too. Not that the government's listening. So this, wow. if you want to read the name of the trophy, the Pat Summit Memorial Championship Victory Chalice. That's right. Named after Pat Summit, the winningest coach in women's college basketball. <laughs> Nothing says success and victory more than Pat Summit. Why are you calling it a chalice when you can't drink out of it? Yeah, well, you know what we did? <laughs> we named it before we saw the options of trophies. Right. So, uh, you know, we already bought the plaque. And then it's too late after that. And then that. it's too late after that. It's a very detailed football. It's a very. It's got the dimples and all. Yeah, you should. Uh, yeah, you can't. It's loose up top, so yeah, watch out sure for that. that in. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna work on that later. <laughs> so you have this decoration for what a year until yeah, the I next have, league? Exactly. And then some of us, what we like to do is we like to name our teams after powerful women. Okay. So it looks like you and that woman co-managed the team together. <laughs> so like the first winner was my buddy Josh, and his team name was. Michelle Obama. Yeah, so so for a year, people would see this trophy and be like, does Josh run a fantasy football team with Michelle Obama? Your 2016, uh, you were a winner, I see, and you had Sacagawea. Yes. Right. I won with Sacagawea. Nice. That's, uh, what did she do? Sacagawea? Sacagawea. Sacagawea? Uh, with Lewis and Clark. She walked them around the, all these places. Oh, she was like the guide? Yeah, she was like, you think the forest is fucking weird, dude. Let me help you out. Let me show you some even weirder stuff. Yeah, and then they probably raped her and stuff, but... <laughs> you know, when you're in fifth grade, they tell you more about the <laughs> the forest exploration yeah. than the rape. Dude, Lewis and Clark, I remember reading about them, and like one of them... One guy was like a scientist and the other guy was just like his homie. Like they like they both weren't like which it kind of works like that now, right? <laughs> like one friend's like, "Oh yeah, I got a work trip." And the other friend's like, "Well, I don't work. <laughs> I'll go with I'll you." Just tag along. Yeah, where are you going? Orlando? This was their Orlando. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exploring the west. Isn't it wild that back then that was an occupation? Well, I was going to say, yeah, like like Anything that was the first, you were the first person to do something, that was like the heyday. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like I remember reading there was like a guy, whatever, I don't know the time period, but like he was some scientist or doctor and he just kept a journal. He watched a rotting carcass of a cow hmm. and just like journaled it, like what happened to it. Right. Because no one had ever just observe that no one ever like took the time to be like hey what happens to a cow or anything when it dies and just like starts deteriorating over right. time and it's just like that science <laughs> you know what i mean yeah and like how but how did they make money back then love of the game i don't know yeah that's the question uh, well i think because we still have that now right but it's through universities well they get grants they get grants right but back then like how could like when they filed their taxes, like when Columbus filed his taxes, did he put explorer as I his don't occupation? Think he filed taxes, dude. I think they filed taxes. You think Columbus filed taxes? I think somewhere, yeah. There's like a track record, and <laughs> yeah, Columbus filed because there was just like that was his job was explorer. Right, but then, but how? But who's keeping track of what he did and didn't do? He's probably coming back. He's and doing it himself some off the top, and it was all fast and loose back then. But I think they were. Yeah, I guess they were. Tax has been around. No for a taxation while. without representation. You know what I'm saying? Right. That was a little after his time. Way but after. it's the same technology. Like you know, no one was using QuickBooks back then. Right. No one had TurboTax. No one had TurboTax. They were just using like an abacus. Or yeah. Whatever. No one went to H and R Block. <laughs> It was like, oh, yeah, I got <laughs> – I see here that you got 10,000 shekels. <laughs> I did. I did get 10,000 shekels. Okay, how are we going to break this down? But instead of like oh. – instead of to like the rich people probably and like instead of moving their money to the Cayman Islands, they just took a boat to the Cayman Islands and like burnt down a town. <laughs> and just got <laughs> slaves. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Which they might still be doing. I think that's what uh, – what's his name? 
Who? He just had child sex slaves. Who? What's his name? Epstein? Epstein. Oh, yeah, Little St. James. Right, right, right. <laughs> Do, like, I notice all these business expenses. Yeah, don't don't worry about that. They should make Little St. James like a stop on a cruise ship. You know, <laughs> like cruise ships just I, like stop at port. I hate to break it to you. They did for about 15 years. Did they really? <laughs> yeah, him. <laughs> <laughs> well, those were cruise ships. Those were private boats. Yeah, they were yachts. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit nicer. <laughs> yeah. I've never looked on a map where Little St. James is. Like, where is that? Like, I'm assuming it's the Caribbean it's somewhere. somewhere not, yeah, I think it's pretty sure it's pretty nice. I don't think it's like off the coast of South Carolina or something, like some bullshit white trash location. There's other people that live on that island, right? No, he bought the island. He owns the he island. He owns the island. Yeah. Interesting. Don't you think, because, like, it's a crime, I think it's a crime scene now. You can't go to Little St. James. The whole island, the border of it, just got yellow tape around it. <laughs> 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 It's like all so much yellow tape around that island. But it must have terrific infrastructure. I, I would assume so. It should be a resort. Yeah. I think the house is up for sale, isn't it? The one in New York is. Oh, not the little St. James one. Well, I don't think it's a... I think it's a resort. I don't think there's a house. Kids didn't die there, right? They just got well, molested. That we, we, know, know. Of. Right, that we right, know right. of. They definitely got fucked. Yes. The kids 100% got fucked. Right. But I don't know if they died. Right. So there's no, right. There's no like bodies buried there. Again, that we know of. Let me ask you a question. If you were a child sex slave, Mm -hmm. would you have rather been abducted by Epstein or would you rather have been from like the Midwest and get abducted by the guy down the block? Mm. That's a great question. That's because, like, the, like, you're closer to home in the Midwest. Right. But it's just, like, nice. I would assume it's nicer amenities with Epstein. Right. Because they all... Here's the thing with the Epstein victims. They all, like, complained about the rape. But none of them were like, we didn't have towels. <laughs> yeah, they were in... Right. They were, like, out of sandals, but right, getting right. molested. Right. Right. Yeah. They still had like hibiscus infused water. I think I'd still want the Midwest one only because the potential to move on and like maybe live a semi normal life afterwards without being in the public eye might be better. You think? I think because then not everyone knows about it. I think it's the opposite. Because if you are abducted in the Midwest. You're probably never leaving that town, no matter what. Abduction, no abduction. Right. So now you're abducted. Now everyone knows. Oh, there's Christina, who got abducted <laughs> by Mark. You know? But with Epstein, it's more of a class action lawsuit. There's so many. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Elizabeth I- Smart? Right, but now Elizabeth... But everyone knows her now, so now it's like any. she goes to a bar. Everyone's like, are you the... Chick right, that that's was my on point. Yeah, but you don't want that. That's what I'm saying. I'd rather be an Epstein victim. Right. I think we're saying different things. I'm saying I wouldn't want to be one because because if I'm Everly Smart and I'm just like some random guy abducts me in Wisconsin right. and then no, it's that doesn't make headline news. It's not a worldwide story. Right. So you could get at you whatever you do your time of molestation and then you get out and then whatever do your therapy and move on oh no i'm saying do your time <laughs> the phrase put your hours in yeah. put in your ten thousand hours that's right <laughs> get good at it <laughs> yeah yeah and then you kind of like and then you can kind of maybe keep it a bit of a secret whereas now she's on like the news so everywhere she wa- everywhere she goes people are like you're that victim right and now everyone knows you're the victim <sighs> mm. I understand what your point is, but I still think in the community you still know who she is, and you're never leaving the community. So that's forever, a big assumption. I don't think it is. Because <laughs> here's here's a story you never hear. She got abducted. Five years later, they found her, and then, believe it or not, became an accountant. Worked at who worked at PwC. <laughs> never works out that way. Yeah, yeah. I wonder, like. Has anyone talked about, like, the glasses half full version of that? Like, did any of the girls that Epstein brought to the island, did they learn any, like, good, like, lifelong skills? 
Yeah, like, like indexing and yeah, like massaging. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like they get they're really good at like taking a knot out of your shoulder. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> like yeah. Do you know what? I do not like Jeffrey because he did sexually abuse me. Right. However, I <laughs> I have a very successful career in private practice massage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's like uh what's that fucking movie where the guy teaches him how to play drums and he's like the tough drum teacher? Oh, uh, uh Miles Teller. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I want to keep saying drumline, but I know it's not drumline. Yeah, it's white drumline. Yeah, it's white drumline. Yeah. I forgot. I think it's a little bit different, though. Because, <laughs> like, he paid to go to that school. It was like Juilliard. Right. These women were abducted from their homes and Yeah, and but they sodomized. thought that they were getting jobs. That was the whole luring process. They were like, oh, <laughs> you'll be so good. You know, Ghislaine Maxwell was like, oh, you'll be like a good... Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like assistant or whatever. Yeah. We'll teach you the rope. We'll show you the ropes. And then we'll show you Epstein's rope. <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, hey. Yeah, what did Glenn get out of this? Not Jail time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not much. And it doesn't sound like she's doing half bad. No, wasn't there a thing like uh, last year where she was like, oh, I'm in this prison cell. There's rats in it. Yeah, but I think that was bullshit. Oh, she was also it? claimed that her trial... Should be dis, uh, discarded. I don't know if that's the legal term to use. Why? Thrown out because the jury wasn't diverse enough. <laughs> and I was like, "This she knows the tabloids." This is this is where this is where you know we have a problem. Where that's you're just like diversity. That's like the hail mary. That's like everyone's throwing the you know even in even in a child molestation jury case you're like oh this is i don't have a diverse enough jury for this i think it's a little offensive to minorities also you're like wildly you know who approves of child abuse trans blacks (laughs) (laughs) let's put a few of them in the jury see what they think (laughs) i'm on a jury of my peers people that approve of rape that's that's a real that you're just grabbing at straws at that point. <laughs> right. You're that that's when the lawyer has run out of. He's like, I'm out of options here. You so, think the lawyer came up with that or Ghislaine? Oh, like she just said it. She's like, what? Hold on. Did you ask how many trans Asians there were in that jury? Because there were not any. And the lawyer's just like, Oh my god, <laughs> Ghislaine, you're a genius. <laughs> Ghislaine, Ghislaine, Ghislaine. I think it's Ghislaine. I thought it was Ghislaine Maxwell. I thought it was Ghislaine. Call us in. Call in. Yeah, call us in if you know. Fucker. I love how everybody now is like, um, like I've heard some people like making fun of who's that dude with all the crypto who's gotten in trouble. Uh, Sam Bakeman Free. Yeah, and everyone's like talking about how ugly his like girl was and all this yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. And people are like, that's not nice. You can't say that. It's like they robbed millions of dollars from people. What do you care about? About you're gonna get you're gonna get it on the defense for being like oh don't call her ugly, who gives a fuck? I was listening to a podcast and there were, uh, Gary Wang is one of the people in the case. Uh huh. And they're like, hold on, is it Gary Wang or Gary Wong? Because it's W O N G, but I believe it's W. It's it's pronounced W A N G. And I was like, he stole seven billion. <laughs> Yeah, who gives a fuck? If someone steals seven Gary million dollars, Gary Ching Chong, who gives a fuck? Right, you're allowed to be racist. <laughs> you go to jail. Yeah, there's a certain <laughs> amount of money. When someone steals a certain amount of money, you can be racist towards them. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. You're and then number seven billion. Right. And then if you go, and now, but if they're declared innocent, then it's like, okay, fine. We take, we take it all back. Delete the episode. Yeah. <laughs> If that happens, delete the episode. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is all fucking stupid. Yeah. How was Australia? Oh, dude, it was great. I did nothing. Nice. I did absolutely nothing. It's summer there. The dead of summer. Nice. Yeah. And they, like the Christmas is like a big holiday there, but the big one is Boxing Day. British. The day after. Yeah. Why? I think, honestly, Australia isn't, like, a very religious country. You don't say. Yeah. So, I think, like, boxing, they're kind of, like, like pretty much between Christmas and New Year's, like, most things are just shut down. Okay. Because everyone's like, at the fucking beach, mate. Like, they're just all chilling. But they also generally don't work. No. There's, like, public holidays, like, a couple of them every month. 
they always have like days off. Yeah, I don't think those stores were just shut down for Christmas to New Year's. I just think you were in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're even more shut down during that week period. Okay. They don't even put the sign up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. It's shut down. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, I think Boxing Day, I mean, for people who shop, it's like a big shopping day. It's like their Black Friday kind of a little bit. But then also, everyone just goes to the beach. Hmm. It's like I mean, a huge beach day. You know what's a crazy sport that was going on when I was over there? Um, like the sailboat races. Like those massive, Ooh. those huge, like 15 crew sail fucking sh- races. Yeah. they. I forget where they went. There's like the Boxing Day race or whatever, but they like go. I forget where they go, but dude, these boats are huge. Dude. It's like the it's an even wider version of Formula One. Oh yeah, nice. Yeah, and it's also interesting because I I never looked it up, but I was asking my friend who's Australian. I was like, who's making at the end of the day? Like, I don't think someone's. I don't think whoever's funding it is like making money like the value like there are people making money but the last like the guy who like whatever i'm just making up like ralph loren's boat like i don't think ralph loren makes money off putting a boat and a team in the race they're getting advertising because there's a giant ralph loren boat right, right right but they're not like i don't like i think that's a money dump for them it's not like know. a sports franchise where it's like we own the Giants. If the Giants do well, we make money because the Giants do well. Like I don't think like they make money. I understand what you're saying. It's like if the team wins, there's no uh, you know Ralph Lauren isn't making ten right. percent of their winnings. I agree with that, but I think if you're Ralph Lauren, you're like, what are the whitest things in the world? <laughs> And they're like, golf. And he's like, good, golf. Let's make some clothes for it. And they're like, sailing. Can like, we get whiter? Fantastic. Right. How, can we sponsor milk? <laughs> <laughs> Is there a milk contest out there we could sponsor? Yeah. Is there a mayonnaise festival that we could put our name on? Right. Shout yeah. out Bo Blue. I'm what, a mate. Wait, what does that mean? If you listen to the last episode, folks, or if you went further than four minutes and didn't jerk off to my socks, throw, throw the What's socks up? up. Foot lady, I know you're out there. No, it's all, dude, my comments, it's just all foot fetish people now. What? For real, yeah. Well, I know you've told me this, but it's a growing yeah, it's foot growing. audience. Have you talked to any of them about what how this happened? Nope, I just keep showing the feet. <laughs> I saw you posted some comments about it, and I was like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, dude, dude that's my that's my audience. I thought it would be comedy fans, but I found out it's freaks. Have you done barefoot yet for them? They ask for it, which shows that they're not true fans. Because if you are a true fan, you would know. For the first about seventy episodes, I didn't wear socks. Well, they didn't jump on board until then. So, thanks for checking back at the old episodes. You know what's freaks. wild is that like. Like, there must have been one foot freak that watched it and then told, like, their community. And they're like, you guys got to check out this podcast. Put it on mute. <laughs> and just yeah. watch. And just watch the feet. Watch the feet. <laughs> I know. That, honestly, and listen, word of mouth is the best advertising. Oh, yeah. Oh, that yeah. old old school grassroots, baby. It's something. <laughs> oh! You guys come in. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe this will piss them off if I do one and one. Oh, yeah. Or maybe it turns them on more. Yeah, maybe they love that. Oh, have you ever done like feet touching? Like where we're touching? No, and I'll be honest. I'm a bit uncomfortable. I know it. you are, but that's you okay. You have oddly large feet for your body. Really? Yeah. I feel like I have like little feet. What's your shoe size? Like nine and a half, ten. Really? But ten, but depending upon the brand. You have a long foot. It looks visibly like a long foot, even though you look like you got big feet. Maybe it's just the illusion of yeah, the sock. Yeah, it's probably the illusion of the sock. I don't know. Dude, that's... You got some long fucking toes, too. Yeah, that middle toe is a big one. Call in if you guys think my yeah, toes are long. call us in. <laughs> Leave a comment about Chris. Wait, what's your dad think about the foot thing? He never really said anything Yeah, about he's it. probably like a don't ask, don't tell. <laughs> well, in more ways than one. There's uh, there's two comments I always get on my videos, and it's it's the foot fetish, and then people commenting on old videos with Luciano in it saying how attractive he is. He's a good-looking guy. 
I'm not here to argue. Yeah. Yeah. He's like an Italian Jason Statham. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Shout out. Oh, by the way, shout out. This. I don't know if this is relevant because I don't know if they've ever been in a movie together. Jeremy Renner. Wait, remind me who's Jeremy Renner? He's uh, he's in... He's in... I'm not a superhero guy, but he's in The Avengers. Okay. And he's in... He's like a superhero action movie guy. Okay. I'm sure as soon as I see him, I'll be like, oh, that guy. Got hit with a snowmobile. Not snowmobile, snowplow. But Dead? same day as uh, the uh, the Bills player. So no one cared. <laughs> That's like when... Um I always felt so bad for China, the wrestler, because when she died, like the same week the prince died, and no one no cared one that cared. China died. I hate to tell you, Chris, she could have died any other day. <laughs> <laughs> she went, and no one, people would have been like, ah. Keep it going. I think a lot of. Who people- died the same day as Michael Jackson? There was a woman who died the same day as Michael Jackson, and no one cares. It's not Susan Sarandon. No, she's alive. She's alive. I don't know. Yeah, who knows? Call us in. Didn't, didn't call us in if you're her. Didn't someone call us in if you're Susan Sarandon? Elvis's kids die? Didn't his no her his uh, daughter just went to cardiac arrest? Michael Jackson's Today. daughter. Oh no, not Michael Jackson's daughter. Uh, Elvis, Lisa Marie Presley, right? Who formerly Michael Jackson's wife? Right. Wife. Yeah, she went to cardiac arrest today. I got the alert. She's kind of hot. Yeah, I'm not here to deny she that. She wasn't bad. No. Yeah, but didn't even play football. Cardiac arrest. <laughs> I thought of that when I saw the alert on my phone, and I was like, ah, I'm a bad person. But it's pretty funny. I thought it was funny. Call us in. Did she? <laughs> the real question is, did she take the vaccine? Oh, hey, <laughs> yo. Because aren't they blaming all these people? About on the fucking, hold on, I put your uh, piss smelling on you. Hold on, you brought, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You brought deodorant? What? You know, and then I, like, I don't want to smell. Wait, what? Like, you know, you, I, like, I'll go to the gym and I'll do a little armpit touch-up. And then I, I didn't go to the gym today, but I still had the deodorant in my bag. <laughs> so you just didn't put deodorant on this morning? I forgot. What does that mean? What, do you mean, for, what does you that mean? You forgot to put deodorant on? Yeah, I was just, like, running out the door. And I was just like, ah, I'll do it later. You'll do it later? <laughs> yeah. What's going on in your life where you do, you run out the door without the odor and you're like, I'll just I'll catch up on it. Well, I'm like, I got it in my bag. I'll fucking do a little do a little uh, your, swipe later. Your life is absurd. <laughs> what are you talking Bro, when you first wake up in the morning, you take a shower, you leave. So your pits aren't, you don't have that Vidalia onion smell until, you know, you start working up a sweat later. My new favorite chip flavor, by the way, Vidalia onion. But... uh. Hold on. What do you do post? What's your post shower routine? Uh, you know what's interesting? Let's start even before that. You go to take a shower. You walk into the bathroom. Break us down step by step what you're doing. Before I even get in the shower, I pick out what I'm gonna wear. That's wild. Cause I don't want to be like wet. And then being and like drying off and being like, now what? <laughs> <laughs> what? Like I don't want to be wet and to make decisions. Yeah, one or the other. I want to get out of the shower, dry myself off, and get into the clothes. That's with, not so without making decisions. Weird. <laughs> it's so weird that that's the reason why. It's like <laughs> I can't be wet and choose my shirt. Yeah, I don't want to do that. That's so weird. Yeah. It's not a long decision process. It's usually... Which is why it's weirder. Yeah. <laughs> just open your closet and pick some shit. I don't like making decisions. But I got to just do it, and then it just it's waiting for me when I get out. What does that mean? Do you feel like exposed when you're wet or like naked? No, it's more just like I just want to be like... I don't know. Like when I get out of the shower, I don't want to like fucking dilly dally. So I'm just like, get out of the shower, <laughs> get my clothes, and let's keep it moving. <laughs> Forget the, the the deodorant. I already got my socks out. Let's get this rolling. Yeah. Okay. Because I'll turn the shower on, and you know, you give it the sixty seconds to two minutes yeah, to warm up. That's a and long I, time. But okay. when I do that, then I uh, while that's happening, I'll be like these jeans, this t-shirt. Okay, I kind of get it. Okay, so you pick out your clothes. Yeah, and then I get in the shower. I Let me ask you a question. 
What way do you walk into the shower? What do you mean? Like I, you know, one foot at a time, like everybody else. I don't do two feet and jump in. <laughs> <That'd be wild. laughs> <laughs> you get in the tub. I just jump two feet over the bowling? over the thing over the thing into the tub. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, check your calisthenics every day. Yeah. <laughs> Doing the side by side jump. I like that. No, do you walk in from the back or the front? Always on the side furthest away from the faucet. Okay. Because most of the time, if you're getting in the other way, you gotta like do the shimmy between the toilet and the tub. Yeah, I mean, sure. I guess you're just telling us more about the layout of your bathroom in this. Yeah, but, scenario. but what, which way do you get it? You get in no, on the I do faucet it at, side? No, no, no. I do it in the far side, but people do do it by the faucet. You know how I do it? I go in the middle and I lift the curtain up from the bottom <laughs> and I step in that way. <laughs> Always ready for showtime. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a curtain that doesn't pull off to the side. Yeah. I got to come from underneath. There you go. Yeah. Okay, so you you go into the shower. Yeah. We're, we're, Give a, do you brush your teeth in the shower? Yeah. I had a feeling. Yeah. You come off like a guy that brushes his teeth in the Efficient. shower. Efficient. No. Yes. <laughs> no. Yeah. No, it's disgusting. No, it's not because I keep. The, I have the little cap thing on my... I don't keep the toothbrush in the shower. That's Oh, yeah, disgusting. like a freak. No, I just brush my teeth in the same area that I wash my body in. Bro, you brush your teeth in the same area you take a shit in. What's the difference? Because I'm not actively shitting when I brush my teeth. I do that sometimes, too. That might be more normal than the shower. <laughs> if you're a bacteria expert, call us in. If you're a bacteria expert, a former explorer, or Susan Sarandon, call us in. I am I consider everything that goes on in the bathroom equally clean and or disgusting. That's not true. You, it's all within... I mean, unless you have a gigantic bathroom, it's all like contained in this tiled little room in your house or your so apartment. So are you claiming that uh, wherever the tile layout is... That's where the bacteria. The whole is in thing. Case. It's yeah. all the same level of bacteria. The yeah. second you walk into the hardwood floor, it we're will... out. Okay, we're out. We've stepped out of that zone. So, like, whether I'm shitting or I'm in the shower, I'm standing at the sink. It's all the same sh- fecal matter and bacteria, whatever, floating around that room. Gotcha. But you take a step over that threshold onto the hardwood floor. We're out. We're out. out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna clean this apartment when you leave. <laughs> Yeah, dude. Okay. I just stand there, take the shower, you know? And I, you know, sometimes, like, if I do, like, the conditioner, I'll let the conditioner sit, and then I'll do the toothbrush. I'll brush my teeth. Oh, yeah, you got time to kill with the conditioner. Yeah, because okay, I do two or... minutes, because I my toothbrush is time, so I do the two minutes. It's, you know, 30, 30, 30, 30. That's what you're spending money on? A toothbrush that has a timer in it? Yeah, and then they send me new heads every month, so I got a clean, fresh toothbrush head. What are you, one of those freaks who uses your toothbrush for six months? You disgusting fuck. How often do you change your toothbrush? Oh, not often. You're gross. Yeah. <laughs> That's gross. That probably <laughs> is gross. <laughs> here's the thing. I'll acknowledge that. I'll own it. That probably is gross. But yeah, it is gross. shitting and cleaning. You pee in the shower. Of course I pee in the shower. You're, do you not understand what you're doing is insane? No, it's not. Yes, it is. How, okay, how is it insane? How is it insane? Chris, you're shampooing your hair, taking a piss, and brushing your teeth. It's great. You're like a one-man band in the shower. <laughs> I know, I'm multitasking. No, you're not. You're just, <laughs> dis- you're, just you're putting piss in your mouth and in your hair. I'm not pissing in my mouth. You kind of are. Also, pee is sterile, by the way. <laughs> That's, uh, <laughs> it's not good when you have to defend it that way. <laughs> Look, I've been pissed on. I've peed on people. What? It's What? Yeah, like kink, we, you know, weird shit. No, crazy. <laughs> yeah, dude. I don't know. You say you know like I know. <laughs> I don't know. What's going on? You never let a chick pee on you before. No. Grow up, dude. You're having people piss on you. Not on a regular basis, but yeah, you know, it's happened. You're open to people pissing on you, but you got to change your toothbrush. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a difference between getting a warm, you know, warm pee on you and then preventing cavities. <laughs> Those are not correlated. <laughs> oh. oh my God. You're fucking gross, dude. <laughs> dude, it's fun, man. 
It's. I'm gonna tell you though. It's really uh, like it's hard to pee on people, like because it's. Because like, I thought you were gonna talk about the toothbrush. <laughs> Why is this not the center of the conversation? Did you ever try to pee with a boner? <laughs> what? It's hard, dude. It's so hard to do it. And then it's like, oh, if I'm not going to pee with a boner, now I got to like get soft to pee on you. But it's like, you know, and then I got to get it hard. Again. It's like a whole up and down and up and down. It's rough, dude. What I've learned <laughs> in the past seven to eight minutes <laughs> The real takeaway is your time management is terrible. Oh, it's terrible. I got mad ADD, dude. Oh, my God. Yeah. From not remembering to put on deodorant to not being able to pee on women you're attracted to, <laughs> your time management could not be worse. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, dude. I don't even... Should we just stop? It's not going to get better than that. <laughs> It's just simply not. All right, I guess we can keep going down. So you're in, you're in the shower. Hmm. Yeah, I guess you condition or shampoo. Yeah, not every day, but yeah, do that. And then uh, you're yeah. a bar of soap guy. I no, I do the um, Doctor Bronner's. You know that that like hipster fucking like that comes in the big bottles. Is um, it a blue label? By yeah, any chance? yeah. And it's got shitloads of writing all over it. It's like mint and like. It, and it tingles your undersack? Yeah. I have a bottle of it. My buddy bought it for me. Yeah, it's like Listerine for your asshole. Yeah. It's great, dude. <laughs> yeah, it it's of, fucking great. That's a good analogy. I like you know? to feel like Shake. it's getting cleaned. You know, the burn makes you feel like it's getting cleaned. I, won't, I only use it for special occasions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I use it every day, dude. They make uh, other flavors, but they don't burn the way that the mint does. I don't like how you said it flavors. <laughs> Are you drinking the body wash? <laughs> no, 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 no. But they have like rose. They have almonds. They have like all these like other ones. But the mint is like the OG. <laughs> yeah, it's it like, tastes the best. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's also not cheap. No, it's not. But it lasts forever. Okay. Yeah, you know, like a little bit goes a long way. I got you. You know, like a you like loofah. The, no, that's for hmm. pussies, bro. Wait, so what are you using? It's my hands, dude. Getting the lather in the hands. It doesn't just... lather that well. Yeah, it does. Hmm. Yeah, you gotta you gotta get it. You gotta get a good friction going. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I like that. And then you get the yeah, wash it down. Now here's now this is I know everyone debates this or talks about this. They're like, do you wash your feet and your legs, or do you just let the soap come well, you don't down? Wash your legs? I'll do like the thighs, but I'm not like bending over and like in between every toe. I don't do the toes either. We might both be wrong here. I don't do the toes either. But you don't wash the uh, your tibia. What's the tibia? Like this? Like a calf? Not really. Like I'll like I'd say like once a week I'll get down there and do like the toes and the foot, but like on a regular basis it's like armpits, asshole, teeth and crotch. You know? Those are the main get all the, at the all same the holes, time ideally. All the holes, you know. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. Yeah. And you just get that and then yeah, anything mm-hmm. below the knee, it's kind of just like all the runoff from everything else will Okay, cancels it out. It just come, you know. Okay. Rinses down. Because it's not like you're out. It's like I just put deodorant on. People aren't like, oh, my calves smell. <laughs> I better I better get them washed I up. Ideally not, you know, but I don't know. I'm, the, I'm washing them every day. The, your calves? I, well, yeah. So it stops for you with the ankles? Yes. But I feel like if you're already down there, why not just take the extra second to just get the feet too? I use a loof. Oh, you're a loofah guy. I'm a loofah guy. So. I mean, it's good for exfoliating, I guess. Get all that. De- that's what. That's what's gross about to me about um, loofahs is that they like the whole point of them is to like help exfoliate. So it's just like when it's not being used, it's just holding all your dead skin, all your dead skins in there. Right. You know what might help with that? Peeing on it. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, when I pee in the shower, I like to play like I'll play like a little game. I like try to get it in the hole. Okay. You know, like I'm shooting the the gun into the clown's mouth, the yeah, water yeah, yeah. into the clown's mouth. Like I'm not like peeing on the curtain and stuff. I'm not like it's not like a fire hose that's like loose. No, yeah, no, you're 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 an adult. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> does, does do Bo and Ted know that you do this? I don't know. Do you assume know. that they're peeing in the shower? Bro, Bo sits to pee. 
like hold on 90 percent of the what? time what yeah i had to have a talk with him about it i knew he was a democrat <laughs> <laughs> oh that's what gave it away <laughs> Yeah. I mean, the gay brother also, but <laughs> the gay brother, the hair, the random tattoos, the overalls. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it's, yeah, pretty obvious. Looking for a startup. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, sit to pee. And I had to say something to him. I was like, bro, you got to stop doing that. It's not good for you. Wait, he sits to pee? Yeah, because there's, and I only found out because, like, there was times where I was like, you know, you, like, I go to the, go to the, you know, I live with him. So I like, go to go to the bathroom and the door's shut. So I'm like, ah, oh, someone's in there. So I don't knock because I'm like, what's the point? The, when they're done, they're done. But then there was like one time where he was like in there for a while. And I was like, I was like, hey, man, you almost done in there? He's like, oh, yeah. And just immediately what? got up. And, you know, there's like when someone when you knock and someone's taking a shit, there's like the they got to do the wipe time. Hopefully they're washing their hands, there's drying their hands. There's like a little delay. Yes. He got up right away and got out. I was like, that was quick. He goes, oh, I was just peeing. I was like, what? He sits there on his, like the same way when you take a shit and you're like fucking around on your phone or whatever. He'll just sit down and take a piss. But just sit there and just, with his dick just hanging over the toilet, not peeing the entire time. I know. He'll take like a five minute piss and just sit there. He's done it less since I had a talk with him about it. A five minute piss? I was like, dude, it's not good for you, man. You could think about all the things you could be doing, you know, instead of sitting there on the toilet with your soft dick just doing nothing. Just but, go sit in a chair with your pants on. <laughs> Why you got to sit on the toilet? But in his defense, you know, you just said it, how hard it is to pee with a boner. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Even harder when you're sitting down? Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, you tell me. But uh, Would you, you never peed with a boner? Not really. Like, even after sex? Like, you're like you're so hard a little bit and you got to pee? Because you got to do, like, a thing where you kind of have to, like... Because you're, because like you know, your boner's like here. It's got an angle. You gotta like aim it down yeah, right. and like point it down, and then you know, it's like if there's like a cum driplet in there, it has the stream goes off to the side or whatever, and then you gotta do the aim thing. We're attracting a whole different audience here. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. So Bo likes mayonnaise. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, yeah, that's that how. We, yeah, that's how we started down this rabbit hole. Mayonnaise is a weird thing to say that you love. Like, if you're like, what's your top favorite foods? And their mayonnaise is in there. He like, was very passionate about how much he loves mayonnaise and deviled eggs. What? Yeah. Those are very weird foods to be your, to be talking about. He was very passionate about I, it. Listen, I love mayo. Like, great sandwich condiment. I fuck with mayo. Mm -hmm. but, to, but to label it as... I don't know. Even in your top 20 favorite foods is bizarre to me. Do you do you know what his dad does? No. Okay. I can't cuz you pee on women and they're peeing on you, so I can't really <laughs> I can't really gauge what what you think's gross or not cuz you also shower with your toothbrush but you need to change the head. So what his dad does is he takes bananas and peanut butter, mixes it together, spreads it on a sandwich. And then on top of that, he adds mayonnaise. That is horrifying. Yeah. That's horrifying. That's what he's doing. That's a that's mush yep. with a condiment. And I don't know which one's the condiment. <laughs> <laughs> that sandwich has more condiments than like because like the banana, like banana and peanut butter sandwich. I mean, Elvis ate that. That's like not that weird. Sure, I guess. You never heard of a banana and peanut butter sandwich? I have heard of it, but I hate how everyone's like, well, you know, that's how Elvis did it. Yeah, Elvis also took prescription pills for 30 years, you know? Yeah, but he didn't invent it. Other people ate it. Oh, no. I think it's grosser when people eat cream cheese and jelly on a bagel or a sandwich. That's disgusting to me. I don't know. That ain't half bad. That's good business. <laughs> that's another. That's a. That's two condiments. That's not even. You don't even have the banana. Like the banana, at least acts as like a vegetarian cold cut or something like that. No, what cream cheese and jelly on a bagel? That's, and I'm telling you from experience, that's white trash thinking they're healthy. Oh, a hundred. That's what that is. A hundred percent. That right. That's like back in like the fifties when like the food group, the top of the food pyramid was bread. <laughs> you know, <laughs> when they're like, the eat your bread, you know, like that's healthy. <laughs> the bottom of the pyramid cigarettes at the top yeah. of its bread. <laughs> yeah. Those are your two important food groups. <laughs> yeah. 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 My dad likes cream cheese and jelly. I'm What's like, not to like? 
ah, it doesn't. And I like both condiments on their own or with other things, but not together. It's not for me. Oh, no. What you do, a little cream cheese on a, on a bagel, a little sh- uh, raspberry jam on top. Have yourself a Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good a good business. Dude, the may the mayonnaise on the banana That's what he's doing. Peanut yeah, yeah, butter yeah. mush. Yeah, yep. Is his dad uh have like cardiac you know, heart problems? I don't know. He's also in liquor sales apparently, so <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Usually they're not marathon runners. <laughs> Well, I mean, the only there's like some people that get away with eating that shit. Like, do you ever, remember like the diet for Michael Phelps? Do you remember reading that? Like, they put that out where he was like, because the motherfucker ate like ten thousand calories a day. Yeah, he also slammed well, the right. pieces of the Great Wall. Right, but he would eat. But like for breakfast, he would eat. It was something crazy where it was like an egg sandwich on like a twelve inch hoagie roll with like you know five eggs like a half a pound of bacon mayonnaise cheese like all this shit on like a sandwich he would eat that like for breakfast so would i <laughs> you know oh. that was good and let me tell you what i wasn't doing <laughs> competing in the olympics <laughs> <laughs> just making my bets that's right baby <laughs> it's Look thinking food <laughs> that's right you said train deandre hopkins was a mistake josh Fuck you. Yeah. How about you pee in the shower and eat a peanut butter, mayonnaise, and banana sandwich, you yeah. idiot? Uh, did we finish with Australia? I don't know. Uh, Anything else there? Boxing Day? Yeah, Boxing Day. I did a show over there. It was horrible. You don't say. Bro, let mm. me tell you something. It was bad, dude. Bunch of kangaroos. <sighs> Have you ever eaten kangaroo? No. It's not bad. I, w- I would think it's not. No, it's not I'm bad. open to it. If it was put on the table, I would have some. Yeah, I would assume it's like gator. Had a lot of gator in New Orleans when we were there. It doesn't taste like gator, but it is in the fact that it's like a weird animal to eat. It's not Good a normal animal to eat. There's like a whole, um, you know, how here there's like ve- ve- vegans, vegetarians. There's like a or like pescatarians, all that shit. There's people in Australia that will only they'll eat meat, but they'll only eat meat of um, overpopulated animals. So like I eat. feel like that exists here too. Does it? I would think people that are so into deer, like so into venison, right? But that's their argument for it. They're like, do you know how overpopulated they are? It's like right. just go to fucking <laughs> shop, right, dude? Just get a, get fucking hamburgers. I don't know. It's yeah. weird. Yeah, this is weird. Yeah, but yeah, go on. Well, I I mean the same thing. They'll just eat like possum and kangaroo. They'll and eat like, possum. Yeah. If you didn't think Australia was trash enough, they'll eat possum. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's it's kind of weird. I've never had possum, but I'd eat it. I'd eat almost any animal. Like if somebody was like, "Do you want to try like whale?" I oh I'd yeah. Eat it. Would you try horse? A hundred percent. I'd eat a fucking dog. I don't even know why everyone's like, "Hey, there's dog in the Chinese food." It's like who cares? Yeah, they're doing a great job. I'll eat dog. Yeah, you have general so it's fucking great. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I've had bull testicles before. That's not surprising. Not a kink thing for food, you know. <laughs> sure. Well, yeah. <laughs> how how did you encounter that? I was in Kenya at this like restaurant. It was like Buffalo. What? Yeah, yeah. What yeah. were you doing in Kenya? We went. On, I went on safari, the Maasai Plains. Sure. Yeah, dude. It was wild, man. It's fucking crazy. Maasai Plains sounds like a good high school football team. Yeah, the Maasai Plains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Maasai Plains High. We're playing Maasai Plains <laughs> September tenth. <10th. laughs> yeah, it's like the hood school on Long Island that everyone's afraid to play because they're real good. Maasai Plains. Yeah, yeah. Dude, it was funny. We stayed like, you know, I went with my family. We like glamped, you know, like we were oh, like yeah, pitching yeah. our own tent and shit. But like, dude, I'll never forget. Like, so a Maasai warrior, like these people, like they're still living like the old school way. Yeah, they're they're black Amish. Basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they live out there to be a Maasai warrior. You have to kill a lion with your bare fucking hands. Well, I say bare hands. No gun. They got a spear and like this big ass knife that they have. Right. Kill a lion alone. It's a lot. That's a lot. So much. And they have Maasai warriors like guarding the camp. They like hire them to like guard the camp. Gotcha. So, so like, you know, you kind of get to know them a little bit. They speak like real broken English. And like, I was like, yo, let me try that spear. So the guy like took me over to a tree and he's like showing me how to like throw the spear. Bro, I didn't think throwing a spear would be that hard. Bro, I threw this thing. It was like, like it just did nothing. 
dude, this guy, he fucking, he laughs at me. And he goes, ha, 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 ha. And picks up the fucking spear, dude. There's like a, there's like a, a wildebeest skull. Like, bro, I'm not even shitting you. Like a hundred feet away, he fucking nails it. Just nails this thing and cracks it down the center with the spear. I was like, holy fuck. Then like, his Gotta name. put him in the transfer portal. What's that? Get him to Alabama or something. Yeah. <laughs> this guy's got an arm on him. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. He's from Masai Plains. Masai Plains. <laughs> Dude. And then, so the next day, right? So they told us that, like, animals, bro, you're in the middle of fucking nowhere. Like, to get there, you take a, you get, you, you land in Kenya and you take another plane that, like, takes you basically to a dirt runway. Like, this plane lands on a dirt runway in the middle of fucking nowhere. Oh, yeah. So, you know, you're in the camp and they told us like animals, some animals like do like at night kind of meander through the camp. Yeah. So, but like, I don't know. You're not thinking, you're just like, uh, I don't know. You're so glamped out. You're not like really worried about it. Yeah. You're like, that's not fucking real. Yes. But the Maasai guys are like up all night, like walking around, you know, keeping an eye on shit. So one morning I wake up and I, I, Come outside, and there is a huge lump of an. There's a huge lump of like animal shit. And the guy who showed me the spear, this guy Lolo, I go. I made a joke. I was like, Lolo, was this you, bro? Was this you? And he's like, Ha 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 ha, lion. <laughs> I was like, What? That was a fucking lion. He's like, Yeah, it was just the thing just like strolled through the fucking camp. I'm sleeping, and there's like a lion like 20 feet from me. Could have just eaten my fucking head off. And he's just like, Yeah, they're cool. Just let them go fucking crazy bro i don't get it i don't get the appeal it's the appeal is like i don't have the i have like a whole hard drive i brought like my nice camera with me like to film stuff dude i was in like national geographic how long ago was this i was it was after college i was i don't know i was probably in like my mid to late 20s i don't know maybe 2016 Oh, okay. 2017 ish. Gotcha. I could tell you, well, not that you would know the year, but the year that, do you remember when Egypt had a revolt and they, they became a democracy? Of course. Whenever that year was, that's the year we went. Because we all, and I only know I that know. because we also went to Egypt on that same trip. And that was like, everybody was like, are you sure you want to go? They're having like a revolt. But then we went there and it's like, there's no revolt. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But I, that's, that's when we went. Dude, it was crazy. See, what's crazy about it is like, you think, you watch it on TV and you're like, I could watch this on TV. Why do I got to go there and see it? But when you are there watching the the thing to watch, the crazy thing to watch, in my opinion, is the Great Crossing. Do you know what that is? The Great Crossing? Yeah. So like, like the Beatles on Abbey Road? Yeah. <laughs> yeah just yeah, five African guys walking across a crosswalk. Just a giraffe and an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> so what happens is, is like, all these wildebeests and buffalo follow the season around. Like, if you look on, zoomed out on a big map, it's like this huge herd of animals. And they just basically kind of go in this, they, they kind of like migrate in this giant, massive, h- hundreds of miles, this huge circle. Circle of life. Following, right, following the grass, the water, the seasons, right? But what happens is throughout the plains are these huge rivers. And, you know, in all the rivers are shitloads of fucking crocodiles just all hanging out, just waiting for some for zebras and these things to cross. And hippos, right? Hippos are in there. Well, hippos are in like more like lakes and shit. Mm. So they're all like, and but nobody fucks with hippos because they're right, super they're the territorial. King. They will fuck they're you up. They're actually the top. They of the hold top. the record. They to this day still hold the record of most human deaths under their belt. More Not than bad. lions, hyenas, any more than any fucking animal, hippos every year they come out number. They be winning this trophy for fucking killing most humans. Put their name on the side. Yeah, because you can't even see them when you're in the water. It's like some guy on a boat fishing, and then they don't even know there's like a hippo under them. And then the hippo's like, "Why are you in my territory?" Facts. And then they just destroy them. Can't blame them. So, so like what happens is is like you like they take you on the trucks and they're like oh there's a crossing happening so you go over and then bro you're not even that far from the shit and you just see hundreds of thousands of zebra and wildebeests piling up on the edge of the river and they're all like looking at each other like i'm not going are you gonna go i'm not are you gonna go i'm not going until one motherfucker's like i'm fucking going and they, they charge it and then when one goes, they all fucking go. And it is a fucking bloodbath, dude. You're watching like 
it's like the opening scene of of uh, Saving Private Ryan when they're running up D Day. <laughs> yeah. It's like, dude, you're watching one zebra get its leg caught, fall, and then a crocodile chomps its head. You're watching, you see like a, a baby wildebeest crying on the edge looking for its mom, and then it gets trampled by other wildebeest trying to get up the other side. It, dude, and there, some of them get by like a clean break. It's just like, oh, untouched on the other side. And then, but you'll see them standing there, some of them looking, being like, rah, rah. they all make these weird noises. Rah, rah, rah. Just, come on, get over here. But dude, it's a fucking shit show. And just, it's like, it's like a horror action movie. Dude, it's insane. And then, and then what happens is, then they'll stop. Cause it's like enough carnage and everything. And then they'll wait. And then they'll like another batch will go. And it's just, this just keeps happening. And then you go back the next day. They brought us back to the next day from one of the great crossings, dude. What? It's like vultures just picking oh, up yeah. bones. There's crocs just like putting a toothpick in their teeth. Cause they just finished eating a nice meal. Dude. It's fascinating. So what that happens every day. It, so seasonally, so like if you go to, so like when the Great Crossing's happening in Kenya, that's not the same time that it's happening in Tasmania. Cause like maybe a month before they were in Tasmania. So it's like you have to, they, like people when they go, they'll time it out to be like, okay, this is the time when they're crossing. Cause if you go like, if you go to Kenya when all the thousands of wildebeest and zebras are like a thousand miles north, you're not gonna see shit. Right. I mean, you'll still see the crocs and the other we animals that don't migrate. But, well, and then the big thing is everyone wants to see the big five. Those are the, the big five is elephants, lion, leopard, buffalo, and rhino. Giraffes in there. No, well, I don't know what, to, I don't know why they declare them the big five, but giraffes are fucking everywhere. Oh, really? Yeah, giraffes. I think they call them big five. Like, buffalo are, are not hard to find. We didn't see any wild rhino. We, I saw one rhino in Africa, and it was, like, in a rehabilitation sanctuary for, like, animals because we couldn't find a fucking— We spent two whole days looking for a rhino. I thought you were going to say for Harold. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a rehab, yeah. yeah. He's trying to kick fentanyl. <laughs> He's just going like this yeah, all the yeah, time. Yeah. He's just shivering under a blanket and <laughs> going through withdrawals. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Yeah, no, no, no fucking line. And it was so funny too because they say leopards are the hardest one to find because they're, they're nocturnal, no? They're nocturnal and they're like all about camouflage and stuff. Mm. And dude, we were, we have, you know, again, this Maasai warrior guy is like our guide. And dude, he's like, yeah, we're probably not gonna, he's like, the likelihood of seeing a leopard is like not very high. Like, but we'll try. We'll try to see if we could see one. Okay. And my brother, like, and we're in this, like, modified vehicle that's got, like, it's, like, the whole top. There's no roof to it. There's, like, right. bars, but it's all open. And he's, like, talking about how we're not going to see the leopard. And my brother's, like, is that one? <laughs> like, in these bushes is, like, a leopard. <laughs> I have video footage. I could have spit on this thing. It was so close to me. Shit. Dude, it was fucking crazy. Maybe he can only see because he's gay. Yeah, he definitely saw. It. He's like, oh, I know that pattern. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. exactly what I thought. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I have a shirt just like that. Is that a wild Gucci? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, there's a flock of Dolce and Gabbana's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's so funny, dude. Clip it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so I, I, I mean, dude, there's, if, if it's so expensive to do it, but I, if, if you ever could afford to do it or save up the money and go, I cannot recommend it enough to anybody. Interesting. It's so, it's, it's a trip that you will never, you, it's, you can't even compare it to anything. It's, it's uncomparable to anything. Yeah, but you can like do it at Bush Gardens. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go to go to New Jersey. Go to Six Flags and do the safari drive through. Yeah, I could see a fucking elephant and then get Chick Fil A. It's not the same, but I don't know. It sounds it sounds worse. There's no Chick Fil A. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. I bro, it's fucking wild over there, man. They 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 those fucking Maasai guys can see shit that you can't see. Like we had like a lunch. We were like posted up under this tree to have lunch, but before we got out of the truck, he's like, "Let me kind of just do like a perimeter check to make sure that there's not like a fucking." Like Is he driving the truck? Yeah. 
Wait, they could drive? They sent, well, this one guy who was like our main guide, he like, we had him the whole time we were there. He like, they'll send like one or two members of their tribe to like Kenya to go to school to learn how to speak English. To like ingratiate. Into I like wonder how you make the cut. First world. I don't know. I, I would imagine some of them are like willing to do it because some of them I bet don't even care to do it because like we went to like a Maasai village and I bro, that was crazy too. There's like little kids. They're polygamists, right? So it's like if you have a kid, the kid, you don't have your hut with your wife and your kids. When you have a kid, it's the village's kid. So there's like little kids running around with like 1993, you know, <laughs> bulls, bulls shirts, shirts well, on. No, they and won. Shit. Who did they beat? The Jazz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So there's like, it's like that type of deal. But they're like living in these straw hut things, and like some of these kids, like there's not, you have to like arrange to go to the village, dude. These there's like little these little black kids like have never seen white people before. And I remember my brother like going up to like hi, and the kid just starts crying, <laughs> and the mother was like, I'm sorry, he's never seen a white person before. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say a gay person. Before. Yeah. <laughs> They wouldn't even let him in the village. They're like, you got to stay in the car. Yeah, dude. <laughs> We're going to go. Dude, here's what's fucked up. In any other place, my dad and I would have beat the shit out of these guys. But it's their custom. Dude, They, my sister was with us. My sister at the time was like 16 years old. So this, honestly, so that gives you some context. She was like 15 or 16. So it was probably like 10 years ago we did this trip. Okay. They start, they start to Lolo, or our guide, they start telling him like, like telling him something in whatever language they speak sure. and he's like he starts laughing and my dad's like what are they saying and he goes well you may not like this but it's actually a really high honor <laughs> in their culture they, they want to trade like two cows and like three goats for your daughter <laughs> two cows three goats and 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 the guy told him he's like that is a lot it's a good deal he's like they don't normally it's like a goat or two <laughs> this guy's like, I'm willing to give you like half my fucking cattle for your little blonde white daughter to make her my wife. I thought you were gonna say they her. wanted to circumcise her. <laughs> oh, oh my god, no, that was uh, that's other parts of Africa. Those the Maasai and that shit, they're like pretty peaceful. <laughs> okay, it's not like uh, they don't have like machetes and they're out burning people with tires. That's like the Congo and shit. Oh, okay, yeah, that's yeah, where yeah. they're doing that. Yeah, Tasmania is where they do a lot of the hunting, the big animal hunting, where you see like white people oh, like posted game. up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kenya is like reserve the animals reservation a lot of peace it's not like like i'm sure there has been bouts of violence there but it's not like they're not like that it's the vermont of africa yeah 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 exactly yeah it's okay. the main of africa <laughs> i like that <laughs> yeah yeah okay that's a good comparison <sighs> i don't even how are the bull testicles ah i wouldn't order it again yeah but it feeling. wasn't the worst thing it kind of just tasted like um <laughs> like liverwurst you ever have like liverwurst, oh, yeah. like a little bit, but I've like in a ball liverwurst. form? Oh, interesting. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about that. It's a lot of textures going on. Yeah. Very minerally tasting. Okay. Yeah. Not my favorite, but it was more just like, yep, yeah, I ate some balls. <laughs> Check it off the list. <laughs> <laughs> Your brother's like, I'm the, <laughs> all right, my brother's had just enough. sucking on him. <laughs> <laughs> Your brother's like, hack. <laughs> Bring me a horse cock. <laughs> yeah. He's like, ah, I'm used to that too. Whatever else you got in there. I don't know, let's get some zebra or something. Oh, All right. shit. We did it. We're not going to end on a better. Uh, <laughs> what a wild episode this was. What a roller coaster of emotions. Yeah, so much going on. Okay. Uh, Saturday. This gets released Monday. Yeah. Stone Street. Stone Street Comedy. Uh, if you're in New York City, January 25th, I am producing uh, two back-to-back -back live specials. Um, oh, bunch of we got elliot thompson a bunch of like heavy hitters in there so if you're in uh follow me at chris metcalf comedy i got tickets in there we're trying to pack this fucker out we got yeah. a whole camera crew okay yeah at Saint Vitus. uh no we got mm. one of the guys we're doing it with he has like his guys he wanted to use so yeah, right. that's fine but yeah pure chaos pure chaos elliot thompson friend of the pod yeah okay peace